threat. Meanwhile, an American soldier fighting for faith after an army briefing slaps a hate group label on a well-established traditional Christian ministry. That's right. The presentation linked the American Family Association to hate groups such as the Ku Klux Klan, neo-Nazis, Black Panthers, and the Nation of Islam. The soldier was so enraged, the fearful punishment for his own Christian values, he reached out to our own uh, Todd Starnes. Hey, Todd. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. Yeah, this happened out at Camp Shelby in Mississippi, and the soldier was a part of uh, 50 uh, active duty and reservist troops that uh, had to attend this mandatory session. And in this session, they certainly did label the American Family Association, which is a well-respected Christian ministry, as, a, as, a, as an example of a hate group. And the soldier snapped a photograph that he sent me showing the, the slideshow presentation that uh, made that allegation. And, and, you know, uh, later on in your story we were reading, the reason the Army had for designating that group a hate group was because they opposed gay marriage. That's right. The, uh, and this is not the first time this has happened. Uh, back in April, uh, I had several stories, and we had reports from around the country of, of similar uh, sessions where this group and the Family Research Council were labeled uh, hate groups, domestic hate groups. Mm -hmm. And also another uh, briefing, and I believe this was uh, in the Air Force, labeled Evangelical Christianity and Catholicism as examples of religious extremism. So uh, there's something going on here. The Pentagon, we tried to talk to them. They told us we needed to talk to the Army. And at that point, the Army, uh, well, it's been almost 24 hours and we still haven't heard back from them. Mm -hmm. um, a U.S. soldier um, in our Army spoke out. He said this, I had to show Americans what our soldiers are now being taught. I couldn't just let this one pass. I was completely taken back by this blatant attack, not only on, on the AFA, but Christians in our beliefs. Your thoughts on that? Elizabeth, uh, for the past five years under the Obama administration, we have seen a significant increase in anti-Christian rhetoric and activity in the, in the military. We know that this is coming from civilian lawyers at the Pentagon, and many of the troops are, are very, very nervous about their careers. We've talked to so many soldiers who say they're going to be getting out of the military as a result of this anti-Christian activity that seems to be directed specifically at Christians. But here's what I find interesting, guys. N not in any of these materials. Materials, do we see anything about Islam? It's, it's always mm -hmm. about evangelical Christians or Catholics. Labeled as ra radical and extreme. That's right.